Our local hospital is not failing. In fact, it is performing well, hitting all waiting time targets. Its A&E was one of the best performing nationally during the winter crisis. So why are the Health Trust proposing potentially massive changes to the hospital services? Services all of us in South Tyneside depend on. The Trust says it is to ensure the quality and safety of services, but they're already of good quality and they're already safe. The real reason for the proposed changes is the chronic underfunding of our NHS. Nationally, the government is demanding £22 billion in efficiency savings. That's one-fifth of the total NHS budget. This is on top of savings already made over previous years. The Trust members have to make these cuts or be replaced by others who will be prepared to carry them out. They say there's no alternative, but there is always an alternative. The government has found that alternative for the NHS in Northern Ireland, and that is extra funding. Do the people of Northern Ireland deserve a better NHS than the rest of us? If we sit back and do nothing, then vital hospital services at South Tyneside are likely to be downgraded or moved to other hospitals such as Sunderland, making it more difficult for you, your family and your neighbours to access. You have a chance to influence these decisions as the Trust is legally bound to consult the people of South Tyneside. This consultation starts on the 5th of July in Gerald Community Centre at 1pm with a public launch event. We have details of other events and ways to have your say on the Facebook pages and websites linked below this video. If you want to have your say in how the hospital services are to be shaped going forward, then please give your views to the Trust. The two local MPs are both on board and have been vocal in their support for this campaign, along with some of the local councillors but not all of them. Please contact your local councillors to make representations to the Trust on your behalf. That is why they were elected. Not to do the bidding of the government and not to toe the line with South Tyneside Council's leadership. They were elected to represent you. If we don't stand together and act now, South Tyneside could lose these services forever. Don't let them get away with it. You deserve better. South Tyneside deserves better. Please get involved, take action now and help to save South Tyneside Hospital.